Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we're going to take a look at a bayonet. This is the ZT9 bayonet from Zero Tolerance Knives. And uh, let me tell you, if you're in the market for a bayonet, or if you're into bayonets, this is definitely one that you should take a look at. This is, this is, I've got to say, the best quality bayonet that I've seen yet. Uh, it is absolutely uh, an over-the-top bayonet in terms of quality and construction. And, I mean, it, it's not cheap, but you get your money's worth, that's for sure. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, what we've got here, it's as you can see, it's got a uh, uh, the bayonet is held into the into the plastic sheath, uh, well, high impact polymer that is, uh, with a uh, retention snap, good and good and solid. Uh, and we'll just go over the uh, the sheath real quick. Uh, like I was saying, that is a uh, high impact polymer. Uh, hard hard sheath combined with with ballistic nylon, so it's it's very rugged there in, in that in that sense. Um, this snap that I was that I was just using it's it's a, a rubber uh, almost like almost like a I don't I almost want to say a tire tread type material, but it's flexible though. It's just it's a very tough rubber, uh, and so that that goes across across the loop. Uh, it does have uh, a ballistic nylon uh, detachable piece here, and th this this is made so that it can be worn in several ways. And let me show you. Uh, I'll show you the diagram, which displays it a little a little easier. There you go. You can see it can be worn in the uh, just on the hip, or it can be worn down low here in in, in the dropped position around the leg. It's made to it's made to work like that, and uh, this detaches. It's a uh, snap lock, and uh, that will wear around around the around the belt loop like that for that kind of wear. Or you can snap on this this extender piece. And then this will this will go around the belt loop there, and you would supply your own strap uh, that wrap through these uh, through the uh, webbing spacers there, and that would go around your leg. Or if you want, it is also provided with a extender here, in which case you could wear it even lower. You could put it a, a, a belt loop there and extend that up to your belt and wear it down even lower down down by your knee. This could come off completely with screws. It does have screws there, so it, the, the, that backing, this ballistic nylon backing could come off entirely. It does have a, a water hole there, a drain hole. So it's got a lot of good options. Uh, the, the knife will fit in Either way, it's not not specific. Although it is it is specific according to the to the the strap, and that that comes around fits across it like that. If you if you're really concerned that maybe you think it might uh, it might need further security, you can you can thread it through the uh, the barrel hole there and snap it in that way and wear it like that. So it's really got some good carry options, uh, and, but as you know, of course, this is a bayonet at heart, so it's going to be mounted on your AR-15, and it can certainly do well there as well. Uh, just the specs on this knife, that blade is seven and a half inches, and that is made of S30V steel. It's full tang all the way through. Full, full tang of S30V steel. That's a quarter inch thick. The overall length is 12 and a half inches. 
The weight of the knife alone is one pound three ounces. Uh, with the uh, sheath rig, it goes to one pound 15. The handle scales are G10. Let's get a close up look at that. Does have some jimping on the top there. It is a serrated blade, and you can see the Kershaw lineage there with those serrations. It is a zero tolerance knife. Now this knife was designed by, in combination with Strider. That's a flat grind that begins about at the halfway point. And the, the, the point is dead center right ahead. Pretty close to center it is. So it's, it's certainly a, a thrusting weapon. But you know, the thing that I notice about this, uh, with most bayonets, it seems to me that my experience has been that most bayonets are designed as bayonets first, as you would expect, and then, then they can double as a field knife secondary if they have to. Uh, that's just kind of the way they've been. most other bayonets are made. This one, it seems, is made in the reverse. I mean, this is absolutely a first-rate, first-quality field knife. It seems almost as if it was a field knife designed to uh, double as a bayonet. Uh, it, this, is, this is certainly, this is absolutely a full field knife in its own right. It's got the thickness, it's got the, it is, abs, it is robust and sturdy, and it's, it's got everything uh, that you would expect from a, a field knife, survival knife, combat knife, uh, military field knife. This, it's a professional grade, no doubt about it. But of course, as, as you would expect, it is does have the, the attachment point there. Attaches to the underlug, and that would be uh, attaching to an AR-15. And, and it's, this would be just an outstanding bayonet or field knife. It's got a stonewashed finish. And that's a, that's a quarter inch thick steel. Really sturdy, rugged, and robust. It's got a great sheath with it too. Really, I'm, I'm impressed, impressed as I can be with this thing. If, if you're looking for a bayonet, uh, or even just a, a good field knife, this is, this is definitely one to consider. That G10 on there, it's, it's got, gives you a good, Good grip on that. It's made in the USA, and uh, I don't think that you're going to find, you're not going to find a better knife than this, particularly with, with the S30V steel, that premium steel, all the way through, full tang, quarter inch thick. You know, that S30V steel, it's, it's, it's got the toughness of 1095, but it it'll resharpen up, it'll resharpen and hold an edge very well. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's a it's a stainless steel, but it's got the toughness of 1095, and yet it resharpens easily. I've I've got some S30V uh, blades, and I can tell you they are like that. Really high quality there. That's the ZT9 bayonet. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.